Hi guys, so we are back on our outdoor home climbing wall after winter break. We have some new setup, we got a lot of volumes just as we wanted. We got some new awesome holds and we set some new awesome boulders. And today I will try to show you as many of them as possible. For today I have two challenges, one for you and one for me. Usually when I set on our wall, we set a few boulders by color and type of the holds and this time we managed to set nine of them. We grade them in our inner climbing scale, which I will present to you. And challenge for you will be to guess the grade of seven boulders that I've already done. And challenge for me will be to complete two of them that I haven't managed to stick together. Our grading system works something like that. Number one is a ladder. And number nine is something that I will probably never do. So uh, in between there are of course numbers from two to eight and it's like uh, I think number three is Magda's flash grade, number four is Magda's one session grade and number five is Magda's project. For me it's around I think the number six is my flash grade, seven is one session uh, and number eight is my project. So as I managed to stick already seven boulders, you probably know that they are graded from two to seven because, well, there is no ladder on our wall. <laughs> uh, and let's see them now. So how is going? Uh, not super well because it's really hot today and those are not the best conditions to send boulders, even the ones you already know. So I managed to send seven out of nine boulders that we said uh, and now i will tell you something about them for it to be easier for you to guess the grade here we have a very cool holds from bad holds this is quite a long boulder well like 16 moves i think and uh, they are quite various they are like mostly semi jacks but they are better and worse so you have to uh, see how i climb it to be able to grade it We graded it with number three. This boulder is set using our new super cool holds from Vatak. They are dual texture. So we set something a little bit more trendy with a lot of heel hooking, a little bit dynamic. I actually think it's like one of the two most cool boulders that we managed to set this time. We gave it a great number five, so hopefully you will see Magda sending it soon. Uh, this one is set using 45er edges. We have a whole set of them. We have really bad, really good ones. This one is set like with semi goods, but most of them are on the volumes. Let's see how I climb it. We graded it number four. So, the heel hook idea gets abandoned for now in favor of a toe hook idea. I know I'm confusing right now. <laughs> so, this one is set using 45 air jugs mm, and very good footholds from Ix. Uh, try to guess what's the grade after me climbing it. Thank you. 
It's our warm-up boulder, so it's graded number two. This boulder was set using woodpecker holes. They are quite cool because they, very, they are very various, though not very durable, to be honest. Um, as every of them is a little bit different, it's hard to describe them. So we'll have to grade it based on how I climb this. And as this one is actually a little bit demanding, we gave it a great number six. Another one is set using edges from bad holes. They are quite bad, but all of them are set on volumes, so which makes them a little bit better. There is a lot of hill hooking on this boulder, so hopefully you'll be able to guess what the grade is. We graded it with number four. This red cool set is from T-Wall. There are various creams. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Mm, I tried to set it using as few footholds as possible. So it's kind of a weird movement. And let's see how it goes. We gave it a great number seven. It actually was pretty tough. It took me like six to seven tries to send it. Oh. This one is set using ohm slopers mostly. And uh, let's see how it looks. So, as you saw, that, that one isn't super hard and it's also graded number two, our second warm-up boulder. Thank you for watching and hopefully you had fun getting the grades. Also look forward to our future videos when Magda will be projecting some of those boulders and hopefully I will be able to send two remaining ones. Bye!